Hi, this is Tammy with Math Kit Tutor, and I want to remind you how to play some games you're probably already familiar with and with your set of dominoes. First of all, you can have young children count the number and simply write it for counting and writing practice. Another way that you can play is have them add it. Once they get really good, you can say 4 plus 7 is 11. You can have them write the equation so they get used to writing equations. Um, then there's the traditional way to play dominoes where they're just matching numbers and counting. You take turns, have it in two separate piles, 7 and 7 for each player, and you flip over your dominoes. You can put them up like this so that you can see them. And then uh, the double goes first and you just match the numbers up. A variation of that game that makes it a little harder is let's say this person here uh, matches this up and you can add the ends and you can turn them. 3 plus 2 is 5. So this person on your scoreboard would get five points and you can just keep tallying. The next person would take a domino. If they cannot play a domino in their hand then they'd have to draw. Here you've got the ending ones as a one and a two so the person would score three points and so on. A good, another variation of this that I've played as an adult that's a lot of fun is that you only score points if your total adds up to five. Here you have four plus two is six, you can play that, but you don't score any points. Um, so you keep playing until drawing and playing different tiles until one works. I'm trying to find one here. Here's a four and you got five and two is seven. Uh, seven doesn't score any points because it's not a multiple of five. Here you have, so what would work here is a, if you had a two with a five on the end of it, then you would have 5 plus 5 is 10. And when you're scoring like that, every time you score 5 points, you make one slash. Every time you score another 5, you make this. So 5, 10. If you score 15 points, 5, 10, 15, like that. And then you can just 10, 20, 30, 35 total for your score. This works really fun if you have a bigger set with the colored colors on it and the bigger numbers all the way up to 9 or 12 or so on. Uh, then you get some really high scoring points and it's good to practice your multiples. Another math game, of course you can play war with this where you uh, each, whoever has the largest number of dots, 4 versus 2, uh, the 4 player would steal, steal it and then you play till the dominoes are gone. You can multiply them instead of add them and one more variation with the domino game is fractions. Uh, you can practice writing fractions like one over three. You can also grab two fractions for those that are advanced and you can add them up. One third over one fourth. And you can teach them how to get the common denominators. Oops, I goofed that up. Other way around. You would make this a 12 and multiply this by 3 and make this a 4 times by 4. Make it a 12 and that becomes 4 and this becomes 3. Now you have 4 plus 3 equals 7 over 12. So this is a lot more fun than doing worksheets. You can take turns. Each one of you have a scoreboard or a scratch board and you can take turns adding fractions and checking each other's answers. That's all I have for dominoes. Have fun!